Hi there, Johnny here from johnnylipsomstudios.co.uk and welcome to another episode of Studio One 3.5. And uh, in today's video, we're going to look at the metering. In particular, we're going to look at the level meter and the spectrum meter. Both of these in particular have had a bit of a makeover and an update. So that's what we're going to look at. So here is the level meter. And you have a whole bunch of new options to check out. So normally you would have true peak, which is like a peak and uh, a peak RMS meter. And then you have all the K system uh, metering, which has been in Studio One for a good while. Uh, so you have K20, K14, and K12. Uh, these meters have been in Studio One for, Studio One for quite a long time, uh, and I have certainly found them essential and invaluable for helping me with mixing. Where I have uh, I use K20 for mixing and K14 for mastering, and K12 would be used for um, broadcast level stuff. Uh, that's what I would use that for. But now you have the addition of EBU R128 uh, and this is also integrated into the project page in great detail. So this is all really really useful stuff um, especially as in 2013 the European Broadcasting Union um, put together this new loudness, loudness normalization standard. Try saying that in a hurry. Uh, which is called R128 and it has basically a target of minus 23 LU full scale. LU being loudness units, full scale. Uh, and that's basically the broadcast normalization standard. If, you, if your master hits that target, then uh, broadcasters in particular will not turn your music down using their compressors and limiters. Uh, so you will not sacrifice any dynamic range that your mix or master has um, by that. So uh, basically pretty important stuff, this R128. So very glad that this has all been brought in. Uh, in the United States, I think it's A85 is the, uh, the loudness normalization for television and radio. Uh, and in Japan and Australasia, it's um, I think it's OP59. I think that's what they call it there. Um, so what you have here is you have integrated loudness uh, measured in LUFS. Then the loudness range measured in LU, loudness units. Then you have the short term loudness. And then over here, uh, hang on. Over here, you have the momentary loudness. And then over here, you have the true peak values. So if I play a little bit of this track, you'll see what all of this looks like. Okay, so pretty much here are my values from that little excerpt there from the chorus and the interlude. We have an integrated loudness of minus 19.2 LUFS, a true peak value of minus 6.3, which is kind of where I aim for, um, for uh, my true peak level uh, when I've finished a mix, and this is a finished mix. Uh, loudness range of 4.6. And all of this is really helpful I can take that forward into mastering and I can ensure that my master uh, conforms to this uh, standard. So that's the level meter, very helpful. And I'll show you uh, what you can do with the level meter uh, in your mix bus here. Um, you can expand it and it will show you though the important numbers, the loudness range and the integrated loudness. Um, and then Let's get on to the spectrum meter. Spectrum meter has had a considerable makeover. Um, 
it has a lot more uh, data that you can look at, a lot more options for how you view your data, like the different modes, and you can select the modes uh, in mini mode over here as well, which is very cool. I'll show you that in just a second. So let's uh, go back to that chorus again. My Chanel, do you not know? So I was just showing you just there as we were listening to the to the track uh, some of the different analysis modes you've got. You've got a lot more than you had before. Octave, third octave, twelfth octave, FFT, FFT curve, waterfall, sonogram, and segment. Segments is quite cool. Um, and then again you have your momentary and your uh, loudness range and your frequency range and all of that. And then up on the side here um, you've got this loudness reference here, which is extremely cool. The darker it is, the quieter it is, the lighter, the louder it is. So that's very, very handy. But over in uh, mini mode over here, as the track is playing, you can change these modes, which is extremely cool. So if I were to just actually mute the mix bus and play the track, without any audio and I can show you I can slide it along and I can get the different modes of metering which is extremely cool so there you go that is the spectrum meter and the level meter extremely useful brilliantly updated by Presonus and in the next videos, we are going to delve into the wonders of the project page. So until then, bye for now.